What's up, everybody? I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, uh, processing this now. And what's been going on? Um, it's raining. I'm in Maryland. Um, I've got three stops in Maryland. Picked up on uh, a national beef in liberal Kansas. They deadheaded me 400 miles from Albuquerque, New Mexico to liberal Kansas. That's, that's one thing I can say about this company. <clears throat> They'll do what it takes to get you that next load. Um, I get paid the same, so whether I'm loaded or empty, but, uh, that's, that's a, but that's a huge bonus, man. Any other company I've ever been in with, um, they'll let you sit. They're not going to deadhead you that much. Uh, maybe 150, 200 miles, but these people, it was, uh, about 400 miles. I was like, holy shit. But, um, so I got three stops. <clears throat> I'm, um, three stops in Maryland. So I'm like 90 miles away. I've got to be there tomorrow. My first stop tomorrow on Sunday at 9 in the morning. Then two stops on Monday. And then um, then I'm on breakdown status <laughs> because my APUs, you know, no working. It's all brokey. It don't work. So I've been idling the truck. And fuel department called me and like, hey, you know, uh, <clears throat> what's going on? And uh, told him, I said, well, yeah, my, my APU's fucked up. I don't know what happened. It just, to me, it sounds like a fuel problem. But anyways, he was like, well, it's your responsibility to call your DM and then, you know, get this taken care of between loads and shit. And he's right. I should have said something, but I was like, fuck him. So, um, cause I got home time coming up and the planner called me when I was, um, uh, in New Mexico and they were like, Hey, you need your next load going towards home. Right. And I'm like, yeah. And she was like, okay, I'll work on it. So they got me that to liberal Kansas to Maryland. Um, and I was supposed to get a load going straight, you know, somewhere down South, but, um, I'm on that breakdown status so when I get done Monday um, they'll ship me to like a Thermo King dealership to get it looked at and get that fixed and then I'll get something going home but but yeah I had a uh, interesting phone call a couple couple weeks ago from a guy in safety um, when it was snowing when I was going through Pennsylvania and all the way up to Maine and shit. <clears throat> um, I had a couple heartbreaking events. Um, well, it tagged it. The computer tagged it as a heartbreaking event, but I was only going like 20 miles an hour. One of them happened in a parking lot. Uh, the parking lot was all slushy and icy and shit, and I hit the brakes a little bit to slow down. I mean, I was in a parking lot. I wasn't going that fast, and the trailer had locked up, and it fucking red light flashes. I'm like, what the hell is that? That's the first one that happened. So I hit it when I got parked and I said, you had a heartbreaking event. And I was like, oh God. They're going to, you know, I mean, because a heartbreaking event, I mean, when you're driving down the road, you, you literally have to slam on your fucking brakes. I mean, almost like lock them motherfuckers up, stopping in a hurry. And, uh, I was like, fuck, man, they're going to be calling me. Well, I guess I had four. And <clears throat> this guy calls me up, and we kind of get in a little dispute about it because he's he's coming at me like, hey, man, you've had four of them and blah, blah, and they weren't all in the parking lots and stuff. And, and then I was told, I said, well, I was driving in snow and shit, man. And I said, my trailer locked up a couple times, but I was only going like 20 miles an hour. I said, that's all it takes, you know. As soon as your trailer locks up, it says it's a heartbreaking event. Yeah, but, and he was all fucking like, you even know what a heartbreaking event, what it takes to have a heartbreaking event? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, let me explain it to you. 
It's when you need to stop in a hurry. I said, there you go. You're acting like I almost caused an 80 fucking car pile up, man. I said, I didn't. I was going 20 miles an hour. My trailer locked up and it was snowing out. What are you doing? What are you driving when it's snowing out? You know, you're not supposed to be driving in inclement weather. And then I had to spot off to the mouth. I was like, man, you know what? This fucking company wasn't built on people not driving in a fucking rain and snow. And then it just kept going on and on and on and on. And he hung up on me. So I called him back. And he hung up again. And I called him back and said, man, don't be fucking hanging up on me no more. Well, I'm just going to put you on safety hold and all this shit. And I'm like, dude, you ain't got to do that. So, I mean, we, we, we hashed it out. I wasn't put on safety hold or nothing, but <clears throat> it was a big dispute. And um, in the end, for me not to be on safety hold, I had to say a few things and, um, you know, tell them that I'll try better next time and I won't do this and I won't do that. And I'm just like, man, am I a truck driver or not? You know, I mean, because they don't want you driving in any inclement weather. I mean, if it's fucking raining its ass off and, you know, it, it, they say pull over, but you can't pull over the side of the road. You need to find a safe haven. Same thing with snow, the same thing with fucking high winds or anything like that. So it's like, damn. Because <clears throat> if something happens, they're going to be calling you up. Hey, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. So anyways, back to the fuel. They were like, uh, you know, I was idling too much and stuff. And he says, he says, another thing that's that's probably killing your fuel is you're going against your governor. I'm governor 63. But, you know, them downgrades, see, it's Stephen's policy. We're not supposed to fucking go past our... Um, govern amount. So like 63, you know, I, I shouldn't go past 63. Well, I don't know, you know, downgrades. I was, they said, yeah, I clocked you at like 78. <laughs> and he said, that's not my department. He said, that's a safety issue. And as soon as he said safety issue, man, I was like, oh, that motherfucker be calling. He says, yeah, if they catch it, they'll be calling you. And I'm like, man, I don't want to go through that shit again. So I've made a pact to myself. I'm not going to do that shit no more. I mean, I've always used to do it. And any extra fucking amount I can get, I'm going to get. But not if I got to argue with that motherfucker again. And, uh, and and he threatens to put me on safety hole where I just fucking sit. Uh-uh. Fuck that. I told his ass. I said, motherfucker, I'll quit. I had I, I recorded a conversation. Because the last time I called him, I said, don't hang up on me no more. I'm just letting you know this is this conversation is being recorded and you're being a little uh, immature. Uh, you know, we need to talk this out. You need to quit fucking hanging up on my ass. I still got it for reference for me. But <clears throat> um, so as soon as he said that could be a safety issue, if they look at it, they'll fucking give you a call and shit. And I was just like, ah, uh, OK, so I'll make a pact to myself. No more on downgrades. Just no more coasting. Uh, no more. Just no more coasting. So I made a pact to myself. And it's a pain in the ass, man, because. This load here, I'm pushing 79,000 pounds. Let's see. I got the scale ticket. This is a heavy, heavy load. I'm 78,060. So I'm 11,820 on my steers. Uh, drive axles is 3340, and trailer axles is 33,200. Which is 78,060. So when you're going down a hill, I mean, it's, you're constantly hitting your brakes. Just try not to go past fucking, you know, 64 fucking mile an hour. So this fucking thing doesn't say, because as soon as you go past your fucking, your, your governed rate, they have you, they have set, you set at this thing. It tags you, it goes excessive speed, excessive speed, excessive speed. And all that shit goes to safety, but it won't. And they, and it, it says excessive speed right off the fucking bat. Like, it could be a mile over, or two miles over, and it says excessive speed. But I, I don't think they'll fuck with you until you're like, you know, what I was doing, like 75, 78 mile an hour. I was like, hell yeah, we going now, woo! Because the last company I was driving for, my covered speed was 75, so. But anyway, so that's what's been going on. I ain't been recording a lot. I've just been pissed off at YouTube. They fucking blocked one of my videos. I spent... Got about an hour editing all this shit, putting in this, taking out that, you know, and and uploaded it, and instant, bam, get two emails. Oh, you've been blocked. Oh, if we took it down, you can't have that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what the fuck? 
was a fucking intro to a song. It wasn't even a song. But, um, I don't know. I just got pissed and I was like, man, you fuck you guys, man. And, um, the intro was through Insane Clown Posse. Like, Metallica, they've never flagged my shit because the way it works is if, if you put a song into your video, now you gotta edit it in your video. And I found this out. You gotta edit it into your video. See, like if I'm recording the dash, just recording the road, and I've got Metallica or whatever I'm playing over the speaker, and it's already into the video, they won't tag it. But if you edit that song, one of somebody's songs, into a video, then they can flag it. <sighs> but Metallica's never thrown a fit, basically saying if I should ever make any kind of revenue off of that one video that has that song in it, I owe them, they get a certain part of the revenue. Whatever. And saying, Clown Posse was like, fuck that. You ain't using my shit and your shit. Block it. And it was blocked. I was like, you motherfuckers, man. So I was just pissed, man. I was just like, man, fuck it. But same shit, man. Different day. Trucking, trucking, trucking. Got me some curtains. Got me curtains that go all the way around. Yeah. So. All right. Well, I'll talk to y'all later. Get to our website by tapping your screen to see the latest photos, tour dates, and news. In a quarter of a mile, turn right on to Nano Road, and then approaching destination on the left side in 550 feet. Destination on the left side in 550 feet.